Hey there, welcome to Old Man Runner. In today's video, I'm going to review this, the third iteration of the on-running Cloud Venture Waterproof. First, I'm going to show a video of me running around Dublin in them, then I'm going to review them. Finally, I'm going to see if I can recommend them. I bought this shoe because I had the previous version, which I bought in July 2020. I've put 113 kilometers of running or 70 miles into them, but I've done a lot of walking, 400 kilometers or about 250 miles. Uh, I walk in them every single day on the beach in the morning with my dog. Uh, so when I saw the new Cloud Venture was announced, I knew the waterproof version couldn't be long coming. Uh, I know one of you wanted me to review it. It's taken me a bit longer than I thought, but in today's video, let's see if this upgrade holds water. The video I made of the previous version, I really enjoyed myself splashing around in the water and uh, I'll link that at the end. But I took the shoe back to where I filmed the original one in the Shelley Banks in Dublin, about five kilometers from the city center where I go every single morning. So let's go for a run and see the shoes in action. enjoyed my run around the Shetty Banks. Uh, I certainly did. Uh, let's put the shoe on the turntable and look at its specifications. On say that the shoe weighs 325 grams or 11.46 ounces. This shoe is a US M13, EU48, UK 12.5. In this size it weighs in the left shoe 414 grams or 14.6 ounces and in the right shoe 416 grams or 14.65 ounces. I think it has a 28 millimeter stack height. We'll talk a bit more about that later. On's website says it has a six millimeter drop. On say this about the Cloud Venture waterproof. Newly configured Cloud Tech joins forces with Helium Superfoam for the smoothest and most comfortable ride in changing conditions. Improved mission grip offers our best grip yet. And thanks to the unmatched cushioning of zero gravity cloud elements, the downhill belongs to you. The Cloud Venture waterproof is for trail running in any conditions. It offers lots of cushioning, unflinching grip, and is surprisingly low on weight too, with a new slingshot speed board for even greater ground feedback. Let's review the shoe and see if what on running says is true. Well, apart from the bit about the unmatched cushioning of zero gravity cloud elements. Really? Zero gravity cloud elements? <laughs> Who knew? I'm gonna compare this, the version three of the shoe, I didn't have the version one, to this, the version two of the shoe as we go along. 
the first thing you'll notice about this shoe, which I, I love this shoe, um, is it's pretty beat up. Uh, it's, it's beat up here, it's torn here, it's torn here, uh, it's torn here, uh, it wears down here. The tongue on, this is the right shoe, and the left shoe is very badly worn here. It's very badly worn at the heel. So uh, it got a lot of abuse, but it, uh, it didn't take the abuse very well. Now, I think one of the reasons is it was in seawater a lot, and I think that probably rotted some of it. But we'll have a look at the new shoe and at some of the differences in the upper. Um, the first thing is that on the on the previous version, there's a lot of, of sort of they look like strengthening pieces. They didn't they didn't do a huge amount, but there's a lot of strengthening pieces that are sort of gone from this. Um, I actually prefer the 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 appearance. I like this shoe, but I prefer it to the, the the other one. Um, but in in the upper, they've sort of made a single piece of material around here with less of, of the the sort of structural or looks like structural tying tying elements. Um, it's. Uh, Interesting here, it's much wider, the, 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 the forefoot, the, the, the tongue, the gap between the tongue is wider wider here for whatever reasons they project in a little bit more. It's got that nice thing to tuck in your shoelaces so it doesn't get caught on the trails. Um, pretty much the same sort of protection around. I love Ons reflective details uh, and obviously the Swiss flag that I particularly like. Um, but uh, hopefully this shoe will wear better than the last shoe. Let's put the stick of light into the shoe and see uh, how breathable they appear to be, um, which is not hugely, it's a waterproof shoe, but you can see a bit of light com coming through it. Uh, interestingly, if, you stick, if I stick it in the previous version, uh, you'll notice particularly over here uh, where it's badly worn, you'll see the light shining through. Um, but you know, you're not expecting a particularly breathable shoe when you're actually trying to keep it waterproof, but uh, it's a comfortable shoe on. I mentioned the gap in the forefoot. The laces are very thin. They're pretty much the same as the previous version. Uh, I actually unlaced the shoe just to see. Um, they're super thin for, for whatever reasons, but easy to tie up. Nothing particularly interesting in there. The heel is about the same, same level of padding, um, and it, it's fine toe box and width. This shoe uh, fits me better than any shoe I've ever put on in my entire life. And uh, they fit me like a glove. So we'll come on to the sizing a bit later on. There's a different distribution of the clouds on this particular shoe. So if you look at the undersole, um, here uh, they're, they're sort of symmetrical down here, whereas on, on this shoe they're, they're sort of staggered. Um, I think there's, there's, these have been combined into one on the other one. You can see they've worn, uh, not through, but they've worn a bit on this one. Um, this is quite deep and catches a lot of stones. Uh, they've made it shallower on this particular one. I think it'll still catch uh, some stones. Uh, the clouds up the front are sort of faked in that they're not really, they're just uh, solid uh, foam of the midsole. Uh, and then the ones at the back on the previous iteration, they go all the way, they sort of go all the way through in, into the gap here. Here the gap is sealed. So there's a bit of difference in the base. Um, one of the things I liked in, in, in the previous one is there's, there's a lot of torsion in here. I thought it might be to do with the, with the positioning of, 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 of the gap here in the outsole. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's moved up here and uh, there's sort of additional sort of protruding bits here for grip and some pretty good ones here. So it's got nice grip in the uh, outsole. On's website to say that the shoe has a six millimeter drop, um, but it didn't give me the stack height. So I emailed and took a while. I ended up going to Chicago uh, and we asked someone there and they checked it on and then On came back to me. And so two separate people from On came back and said that it's, I'm gonna double check my email here just to be sure. They said that the Cloud Venture forefoot is 16 mil and rear foot is 27 mil. Uh, but they also say that it's got a drop of um, six millimeters. So it seems that I got incorrect information from two completely separate on sources. I, I know I drone on about stack height and, uh, and, and drop uh, particularly recently, but I just wish manufacturers would put the weight of the shoes, the stack height, the drop, uh, all of that in a consistent way on all of their websites. But we'll move on. On the video I made of the previous iteration, uh, I put a camera in in the shower and tried to see if water would come in. It doesn't really. Uh, they're very waterproof. In the video of me running around the Shelly Banks, I'm splashing in and through water. Uh, when you do that, I mean, you'll see me submerge in water a couple of times. Uh, then water comes into the shoe. And of course, when water comes into the shoe, it can't get out. So if you want to forward streams and things, don't get a waterproof shoe because the waterproofing will keep the water from going out. You need something to let the water in and out. But if you are running on wet grass, uh, wet trails, out in the rain, <laughs> the waterproofing these is super. 
on recommend going up a full size in this shoe. Interestingly enough, they don't on the Cloud Adventure, so I guess they're figuring the waterproofing takes away a size, something like that. Either way, these are 12.5 UK, 13 US and 48 EU. I had got a slightly bigger size because that was all that was available when I first launched. It arrived, um, I'll show a picture of it later on. It arrived, um, the half size bigger seemed to make a huge difference to me. These on my feet are a superb fit. I mean, really superb. Um, the original ones, these ones are worn in, so they're much more pliable. Uh, these, like I think any of the waterproofing shoes I have, um, they take a while to sort of bed in, bed into your foot. They're sort of stiffer, um, but the fit is superb. They're slightly lighter, 16 grams or just about 0.56 of an ounce than the original or the second version that I have, the previous version. And they're a little bit heavier, again, by pretty much the same amounts, 15 grams or 0.53 ounces on the regular unwaterproofed Cloud Venture. I love the design of this shoe. Uh, I still get, even, no matter how badly worn they are all over the place, I still love wearing these in the morning. I'm in two minds as to whether I'll wear them in future or saw them in half to see what they're made of, or I'm not sure. I just really love the shoe. Um, but um, this one is probably more streamlined. It is less of, as I said, the, the sort of elements tying it in here. I love this cockpit sort of version. It's kind of like sitting, sitting down to it. I love all, all that. This glacier white has a bit of pop to it. It's, it's actually a really nice color. Um, I cleaned these off after running around in mud yesterday and uh, running out the sand and the water. Um, but actually it cleaned off pretty well. It was covered in salt uh, the other day. I noticed huge salt crystals all over it, which I suppose you'd expect. Um, when I ordered them originally, I ordered them in, I think it's called pecan and lead. Uh, I, I didn't take to them at all. They were here for a couple of weeks. They're they were just on the a bit too big and they were, I didn't like the color whatsoever. So I actually sent them back, which is why it's taking me so long to get around to making these. They're also available in a ruby and a magnet in the women's uh, sizes and uh, looks great, lovely set of colors. Just like on have tremendous uh, colorways and I'd expect that many more will be released as this shoe uh, grows in popularity and goes through its lifespan. In terms of the running feel, well, it's firm. Uh, I ran, uh, I ran all over the beach, I ran on rocks, I ran on mud, yes I ran uh, on trails, I tried them everywhere, on the road obviously to, to get there. Um, they're firm on the road, they're super on trails, they're fantastic in wet grass, I ran around some playing pitches, fantastic. Um, I, I love walking in them, it's a shoe that, that I'm, that's probably pr pretty much what I'm going to do, and on the beach they just feel fantastic. Um, the grip is 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 great. I clambered over rocks this morning just to double check the grip, but it's really good. One of the things that that I think does make them really interesting. I'm gonna pull out the liner here, which uh, I I did earlier and, and tried to to clean the liner in the older shoe because it was <laughs> well anyway. You can imagine. Uh, but the the new the old liner is pretty straightforward. A bit of sort of uh, orange fabric on the top, or I think they call it rust on top of of the plastic. Um, this is kind of a two-piece one, and I usually don't take outliners and talk about them, but there's a lot of added comfort in this. Um, it seems that in the shoe, at least in walking on it, this, this sort of uh, plastic piece that they've added to the liner is, is, a, is a great addition. Now, I watched a video where somebody was saying that uh, shoe companies put liners in like that and that they wear out pretty quick. They're designed to make them feel comfortable when you first try them on in a shoe shop. Um, but anyway, either way, it actually does make a difference, much to my surprise, and a very welcome one. The shoe costs 179 euro or 95 cent, 169 dollars 99 cents, 150 pounds or 269.95 in Australian dollars. At that, it's about 20 bucks more expensive than the non-waterproof version, and it's about 10 bucks cheaper than the Cloud Ultra. So you're paying for the waterproofing, um, but it's a bit cheaper than the lighter Cloud Ultra. It's an expensive shoe, but if you need the waterproofing, yeah, it's worth paying. At the start of the video, I asked whether this upgrade holds water. Well, <laughs> as I mentioned in the video, if you put water into a waterproof shoe, it'll hold the water. Uh, but that wasn't really the point I was getting at. Is, is it worth upgrading from the previous version? Uh, for me, not really. I, can't, I can see a little bit of improvement. Yeah, the speed board or whatever you call it is a bit shallower and maybe there's less stones. Um, it might be marginally more comfortable. It'll keep exactly the same amount of water out um or in uh so i mean if i could get an earlier version if you see the earlier version and it's on at a discount sure other than that it's a marginal upgrade but it's still a pretty good shoe should you buy this shoe well 
it's expensive and based on this shoe, probably won't wear all that well. If you don't need the waterproofing, but you do need the grip and traction, go for the regular Cloud Venture. You'll save a little bit of money and a little bit of weight. And if you don't need the waterproofing and you don't need the grip and traction, but want to run on trails or, or cross country, then pick this, the Cloud Ultra. It's a bit more expensive. Um, it's a little bit lighter and uh, it's a lot more comfortable underfoot with its two rows of uh, clouds. But if you need a shoe that's got great grip and traction and has got great waterproofing and uh, you can handle the firm ride, then yeah, the argument for buying this shoe holds water. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, it'd be great if you hit the like button. There'll be lots of stuff in the descriptions below. And as always, I'll answer any of the questions that you put into the comments. There'll be a blue subscribe button popping up there and some related videos there. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, just keep running along.